हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ रीथ्रोइंग एक्सेप्शन इन सी प्लस प्लस रीथ्रोइंग एक्सेप्शन इज आल्सो पॉसिबल इन सी प्लस प्लस वेयर वी हैव एन इनर एंड आउटर ट्राई कैच स्टेटमेंट वी कैन से नेस्ट ट्राई कैच एन एक्सेप्शन टू बी थ्रोन फ्रॉम इनर कैच ब्लॉक to outer catch block is called rethrowing an exception in the program execution when an exception received by catch block is passed to another exception handler then such a situation is known as rethrowing of exception and the rethrowing of exception is done with the help of throw keyword if we want to rethrow an exception no argument is required and this statement throws the exception to the next try catch block let's see the program for rethrowing exceptions in c++ first of all we have to define one function void divide void is the return type and divide is the name of the function and function having two integer arguments int x and int y and inside the body of this function first of all with we'll see out display the message inside function then after that inside the body of try block put the condition if the value of y is equal to equal to 0 if this condition is true then with the help of throw keyword throw an exception if the value of y is equal to 0 then throw an exception which is of integer type throw y if this condition is evaluated to be false then see out display the division x divided by y then close the body of try block in this case exception is of integer type then we have to pass integer type argument in a catch block inside the body of catch block with see out display the message integer exception inside the function now inside the body of catch block now we have to read through an exception rethrowing of an exception means an exception to be thrown from inner catch block to outer catch block this is a inner catch block how to rethrow an exception with the help of throw keyword and this statement does not contain any argument no argument is required for rethrowing an exception then after that display the message end of function now inside the main function first of all with we'll see out display the message inside main then after that try block is there now inside the body of try block we have to call the function name of the function is divide and function takes two argument actual program start with the main function first of all inside main is to be printed onto the screen then after that try block is to be evaluated inside the body of try block function call and function takes two argument when this function call control transfer to the function definition 
and value 12 and 6 is copied into x and y now x is 12 and y is 6 now inside the body of divide function display the message inside function then try block gets executed and check the condition y is equal to equal to 0 now in this case the value of y is 6 6 is equal to equal to 0 condition is evaluated to be false then else part is to be evaluated there is no exception then division is equal to 12 divided by 6 the result is 2 now inside the body of try block again call the function now when this function call the value 12 and 0 is copied into x and y so first of all see out inside function is to be printed onto the screen then try block gets executed and inside the body of try block if y is equal to equal to 0 now the value of y is 0 0 is equal to equal to 0 condition is evaluated to be true the throw statement throw the exception to the catch block now which catch block integer catch block will be executed and then output is integer exception inside the function and after that re-throwing an exception from one catch block to another catch block if you want to throw any exception then after throw keyword we have to pass an argument but if we want to re-throw any exception from one catch block to another catch block then no need to pass any argument after throw and when an exception is rethrown, it will not be caught by the same catch statement or any other catch in that group. Rather, it will be caught by an appropriate catch in the outer try catch sequence only. In outer try block. Catch block is there and inside the body of catch block display the message integer exception inside the main function. After rethrowing an exception, it will be passed on to the next outer try catch sequence for processing then the output is integer exception inside the main function now run this code now after the execution of this code actual program start with the main function then the output is inside main then after that try block gets executed and function call then this function call control transfer to the function definition value 12 and x is copied into x and y and inside the body of divide function see out inside function this message is to be printed onto the screen then after that try block gets executed and inside the body of try block if statement is there if y is equal to equal to 0 now the value of y is 6 6 is equal to equal to 0 condition become false there is no exception then else statement gets executed then the output is division is equal to 12 divided by 6 so division is equal to 2 
then after that see out end of function end of function message is to be printed onto the screen then control back to the main function see out inside main then divide 12 comma 0 again function call the value 12 and 0 is copied into x and y inside the definition of divide function see out inside function message is to be printed onto the screen then after that inside the body of try block condition is to be evaluated y is equal to equal to 0 now the value of y is 0 0 is equal to equal to 0 condition is evaluated to be true then there is an exception throw y throwing an exception whenever throw statement is executed then throw statement throw the exception to the catch block which catch block integer catch block will be executed and then the output is integer exception inside the function then after that inside the body of catch block re-throwing an exception re-throwing an exception from one catch block to another if we want to re-throw an exception then no argument is required after throw. In this case, an exception to be thrown from inner catch block to outer catch block. Then the output is integer exception inside the main function. Whenever an exception received by catch block is passed to another exception handler then such situation is referred to as a re-throwing of exception for throwing an exception we have to pass argument for re-throwing an exception no need to pass any argument this is all about re-throwing an exception in C++.